Well, this isn't where I said where I'd start up next time, nor is this anywhere near the dialogue option, but I have very good reason for that. That's because I actually did record uh, this chapter with the option of telling Lance that, you know, it's, it's nothing, it'll be fine, you know, it's not gonna count. And I still got a game over. So in the very video where I said that Lance's route seemed pretty easy to avoid getting stuck on, I walked myself into a dead end. What delicious irony. So, if you look at my save files, you recall this was on the first arc. You know, before we actually got onto a route. And yes, I had to redo Lance's entire route up to this point. Joyous day! So, I decided to now keep three files on hand, just in case, with one being rather early in the route, if I accidentally make a mistake and don't want to have to redo the entire thing again. Especially since I'm planning Tay's route next time, so the first arc save wasn't going to help me a whole lot anyway, because I'm pretty sure his is going to be vastly different. Plus, that first arc didn't even contain any options to impress Tay. So, did I do anything different this time around? Well, in this scene, I did offer Lance some of the ice cream, but he said, you know, he wants to get another spoon so he doesn't share the spoon with me because, oh my god, that's an indirect kiss. So then I had the second dialogue option of just letting him be and finishing myself anyway, but I'm pretty sure that didn't do anything. Because after that, things continued normal. I think what caused the change was in the previous chapter, Grandpa and Lance. When Eri talks to her parents, instead of saying that the house has memories, I had her flat out tell them, don't talk like that about Grandpa. It didn't change her scene with Lance later, but it did change how she talked with her parents, so I think that changed it. Because I always use the handy skip button at this point, and it always stops on new text. So since we did not skip the knock-knock here, you can already tell that something new is going to happen. So hopefully we avoided getting a game over for this point. Let me catch my breath for a second, then I can continue. I was drowned in my own thoughts when someone knocked. Uh, come in. Are all the members back already? Huh? The door opened and I heard someone panting. Lance? <laughs> Oh, uh, calls? Oh, I forgot. I had put my phone in my uniform pocket after I changed into my costume. Lance must have called me then. What happened? What happened? I think I just repeated myself twice. Not really. <laughs> Do you have a stitch in your side? Do you feel nauseous? Do you want to sit down? What? What is it? Where are you going? Lance grabbed my arms. I felt his determination the way he pulled at them. I wondered why he was being this way, so I just let him drag me along. But he wasn't heading towards the entrance. He's taking me to the dressing room? Wait! You, you have to explain. Feeling flustered, I put all my strength into my feet and stood firm. Lance turned around to face me. His face looked much more serious than usual. I unconsciously gulped. Going where? Whoa! Lance shoved me into the dressing room. And then he entered too. 
and close the curtains. The space was barely big enough for two people, and there we were, standing face to face. Actually, that seems like a pretty big dressing room. Then again, probably just looks big for one person, because maybe they have white costumes. Although she said her dress looked very princessy. I personally wouldn't call that princessy. Though maybe the definition is different. I had no idea what he was doing, suddenly barging in and dragging me into the dressing room. Lance? What, uh, what are you doing? His eyes were too close to mine. Actually, Lance is just playing too close to me. I must get you out of that dress right now. And I will wear it myself. What are you talking about? What? Wait, what? I, I can't breathe! My heart was already beating fast, but now it was going crazy! Are Lance's lips touching mine? Seriously? Yes, apparently we exploded in love bubbles all around us with that kiss. Eh, I'm not questioning it. I couldn't breathe because Lance's lips were pressing really hard onto mine. I instinctively tried to back away, but he was holding onto my arms really tightly. Wait, it's my first kiss. What is all this? I thought first kisses were supposed to be soft. <laughs> breathe. Well, she's saying breath, but I think she means breathe. Well, she's currently not having a lot of oxygen in her brain, so we'll ignore that. I might suffocate and die like this. So I will gladly die like this. <sighs> you, you, I hated him for teasing me as soon as he backed off. But before that, I didn't get what this was. It didn't hit me if it really was Lance's lips that just touched mine. Yeah, see, he leaned his face towards you, but then replaced his lips with a pillow. He's very good at doing that. That's totally what happened. Jesus Christ, Airely. Seriously. Uh, how can you do that without any warning? You, you first have to ask permission and then do it. Two. Yes, dear Christian Grey. What? I was rattling on with my face all red when Lance put his finger on my mouth and told me to be quiet. Can I just say it's a total pet peeve of mine of people putting their fingers on someone else's mouth? Why am I actually being all quiet now? Lance admitted to his crime with a serious face. I wanted to yell how he could be so shameless, but my heart was about to spill out of my mouth, so I stood still. Since my heart was foolishly pounding at what this criminal was calmly saying. Well, as I said, technically I had my first kiss when I was like four with another boy, so maybe my perspective of this is skewed, but who cares? It's a play kiss. Doesn't count. The next time you cancel, I swear to God, I will break into your apartment. 
where I already live, and I will rape you just like Kristen Grey in Fifty Shades. That's what all the women's like, right? Please back off and let me call a restraining order out. What kind of logic is that? <sighs> oh my god, no. You're wearing a dress. Okay, her... Her regular outfit seems to include leggings, so... Maybe I can understand her being a bit embarrassed about that. What? Uh... Only if you leave and then turn around and then put it on yourself. What? Did I hear wrong? Did Lance just tell me to... What? Oh my god! I didn't hear it wrong! I tried to back off, but there was no room in this tiny space. R right here? I need the adult! Uh, do the, uh, dressing rooms here have the curtain go all the way to the floor? Otherwise, wouldn't they see my feet and somebody else's feet in the dressing room? I'm sure if I stand here and talk, she'll definitely come out and not be embarrassed at all. Oh my god! Oh my god! Shikrapunyo. I, uh, I have been stuck in uh, the villain's basement of Mirror Dungeon Castle Linkton. Don't worry, I'll be fine. No need to save me. Okay. I don't quite remember the exact time frame when the whole heroine taking part as the heroine in this play started. But that seemed to be about a week before exams. So let's say you, you changed the script last one and a half to two weeks before this day. I think you shouldn't change anything two weeks before the script goes up. So now... You have no excuse. Seriously. Yeah, let's have you two kiss. The Yaoi fangirls in the audience are gonna love it. Oh, 
I personally would say everyone is idiots, but you're nicer than I am, Lance. You can just hug. You don't have to kiss. Oh, chill, you'll taste me on him anyway. I memorized all those lines, and it's all useless now. It's so unfair, I can't believe you memorized all of that so fast. I demand to see a picture of Lance in the dress. How dare you make me go through this and not show me Lance in the dress? It's... it's something! <sighs> Honestly, those weren't childish lines. They sounded more like what you find in Google Translate Sings Make a Man Out of You from Milan. Seriously, check it out. That's pretty good. Pretty good Google Translate Sings. But thanks to that, the play was a huge success. Especially the last scene was. <laughs> I tried to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> it's so funny! <laughs> no one ever dreamed that would happen to Red and Lance. The lighting was so dark so the audience far back would have missed it. That is horrible lighting. Seriously, your drama club sucks. S U double X T. But I stood right by the stage and saw everything. The hideously frowning faces of the two leads. Hey, you just called me slow, right? Seeing Lance come close to me, my face turned red again, remembering what happened. I'm gonna slap you in the face if we don't back off. Lance. He must have really hated me having to kiss Red for the play. He made such an extreme choice and yet he didn't seem to regret it at all. You know, I would maybe think his, uh, sacrifice, quote unquote, would be a bit more better if he hadn't force kissed you. Seriously, if he had just, you know, switched costumes with you and taken over the lead, that would actually have been better instead of the kiss. If you hated it that much, why didn't you stop me in the first place? They would have laughed you out of the room. Wasn't the writer a girl? I never ever thought something like the thickest banana would come out of your mouth. Oh, you're just giving me a lot of images to Google search. Or draw myself. I really became quiet at his words. Well... I don't even know who is the owner right now. Would have protected them more if you hadn't forced kiss me. Yes, I'm not letting that go. That's not okay for me. You know what? Eri, go home. Grab a safety pin or just a thumbtack and mark Lance's doll body. He marked you, so to say. So you take the thumbtack and you rip Eri into his cheek. Considering the doll body seems to be in unison with the human body, we would get Eri onto his cheek. I marked you myself, bitch! Mark? 
he was definitely talking about what happened in the dressing room. No, really. I could never forget, even if I try. As soon as I remembered it, my heart started beating just as it did then. I couldn't look him in the eye and lowered my head. And you're a dick. Your turn. I... Don't embarrass me. Couldn't even raise my face while talking to him, but he didn't seem to care. Couldn't see his facial expression, but I was sure he was smiling. Lance really smiled, but he's expressing himself a lot these days. Oh, and what a way of expressing, insulting, and forcing himself on me. Lovely. It's good that he's smiling often. Except, I kind of hate that he smiles every time he teases me. Is it that fun to tease me? As a person who likes teasing other people herself, yes it is. Nobody calls me cute. It's getting worse. I don't think my face could get any redder, but he keeps on embarrassing me. I've never heard him say the word cute before. What? He spoke differently now. Did... Did you just say Eri? Well, he used... the default word that they used to refer to me. So I don't think that's actually Eri. Just so you know, calling me cute is not a compliment to me. And it's not going to make me forgive you for this. Oh my god, you should have just kissed Red then. You know, after he kisses me, then he would have technically kissed me, and things would have been fine. To quote Princess Jasmine from Aladdin, I'm not some prize that you can win. Whatever. Do you think I'm some game prize? And yet you say you won. I am also his owner. As I do with the rest of you. The line confuses me a bit. Is it saying that he can be a happier person than Red, or that I can be happier with him than with Red? I'm just asking. Uh, we'll see when we get to Red's route later on. I personally would have pointed at my chest to indicate the heart, but sure. 그것들을 모두 다이 안에 가지고 있어. 그러니까 그것만은 절대 레드에게 지지 않아.
where? Nothing. I thought he liked being the one to talk, but he must have been paying attention to me. You're stupid. Oh, what a lovely, lovely relationship they're gonna have. Dega? Yeah. From the start, you guys had no reason to fight. Red and you. Personalities and how special you are, there aren't any standards to judge those with. It's not something you can win or lose over. Red is a special doll that's unique in this world. I know exactly what the doll maker had in mind when he made Red. But... I know for sure that the maker gave you a lovely heart when he made you, too. A heart that lets you get along with your owner, no matter what kind of clothes or style the owner offers you. You'll always be happy with the owner, and be loved by your owner. He must have given you a very kind heart. Think of all the time you spent with me. You stood where I put you, with the clothes I dressed you in, accepting all of my mistakes just like that. You stood right there, didn't you? Your heart that accepted everything is wonderful and precious. You are... You're precious to me. I never considered anyone to be more special. Your phone is ringing? Uh... I didn't hear anything. Shouldn't you get going? You just played hooky for several hours. Yeah, yeah. I'll go home after looking around a bit more, so you go ahead. Yeah? Well, Tay's Cafe and Yono's Fortune Telling Tent. And I think Ayuyo is playing a gig, so I might go there too. Mm. Lance summarized the festival with very cynical words. Uh, yeah. But I might not hear the phone ring if it's too loud. That's why you put it on vibrate so you can hear it vibrating. Or at least feel it vibrating. There were a lot of people, so the sound might get buried. Even Soy's voice was buried, so I might not hear the phone ring. Huh? If you do that in front of several people without my consent, I will punch you in the deck, whether you have one or you don't, you doll. What? My face turned bright red. Lance, what are you saying? Are you some kind of animal marking your territory? That's what the dick contests are all about. Of course that's what it is. Mark... I'll just have to carry the phone in my hand the whole time. The festival ended well. I wrote my diary and closed it. So many things happened today. I took out my phone, checked the call records. He called me five more times after he left. It was most risky when I went to see Yuri's concert. The music was so loud, so I was anxious about missing Lance's call. As soon as Yuri got off the stage, Lance called and I had to leave before I could see any other concert. I guess he knew the whole schedule since he's the festival conductor. I can't believe Almighty Lance did that. 
The more I thought about it, the more it made me laugh. Lance suddenly spoke to me like a friend, and his actions changed completely, too. I don't know many friends who would just smash their mouth onto another friend's mouth. Then again, maybe I do not understand the uh, social friend norms these days. I was so surprised. I didn't realize he'd call that much. Oh my god, he's clingy now, too. He's like a stalker more than a prince. I think I am going to start calling him Christian Grey. Minus the full-on sex penetration raping part. Unless it turns out Lance is into bondage or beating up little brown-haired girls that he calls bondage, which it isn't. But every time I see his caller ID on the phone screen, I feel butterflies in my stomach. It's a weird feeling. It's like floating on fluffy clouds. What kind of expression will he make when he says hi to me tomorrow? He's probably gonna grin and think, I won against Red. Oh yeah. I hold onto my phone full of my call records with Lance and Imagine. I feel happy. Well, that chapter is finished. It's wonderful. I have to say... This is not something that I really like. It's not something that I... I really condone. But... It's for Lance's fruit. We'll see what goes on next time and in the other route, so I'll see you then.